Welcome everyone, you may have upgraded to iOS 16 and you have battery drain issues. So there isn't a magic wand you can apply uh, to fix the issue, however there are some steps you can take which I will showcase in order to uh, reduce the battery drain. So the first one is you want to open up the settings app. From here you're going to scroll all the way down until you see mail. From here you're going to tap on accounts and where it says fetch new data Tap on this one and by default it's set to automatically. What this means is the mail app is going to ping your mail accounts every couple of seconds, okay? That's going to use a lot of data, which you may not care about, but what you will care about, because you're watching this video, is it will use a lot of battery life. So if you do want mail to be fetched in the background, you can set this to either every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes or hourly. If you set this to manually, you have to open up the mail app in order to receive new mail. I personally set this to manually so that, you know, well, uh, I'm not distracted with bing, bing, bing. I'm sure if you have a lot of spam email, you know what I'm talking about. Next, let's go back to the homepage of settings here. And we're going to search up for background app refresh, okay? Tap on this one. So what background app refresh does is it allows your apps to download new files, new data, even while they are in the background. So for example, let's say you are in YouTube, you're downloading a YouTube video and you go to the home screen. If background app refresh is off, in that case, the download will not continue. But for a lot of applications, does, let's say, uh, you know, the, the music app need to download stuff in the background? Probably not. Um, you know, I personally just go here and I turn this off entirely. The reason why is because I've never really had a situation where having background app refresh has caused issues when it's off. I do recommend you turn this off as of course you're not going to have the app doing all these checks in the background and on top of that you're going to be saving data as well. On top of this if you want to go kind of extreme search up for reduce and you see where it says reduce motion tap on this one. So reduce motion will change the animations okay so you can see you get this little fade animation so the main battery drainer is as fancy, you know, opening up the settings app, closing the settings app, etc. With reduced motion, you remove the animation, which means less processing power is required. This will also improve app launch times as well. If you turn on crossfade transitions, you get a slightly different effect, okay? So you can see the animations are virtually removed, right? Um, it's pretty cool. There are some stuff where you do get a partial animation, but you can see it's not as smooth as you would get if you do have reduced motion off, but this is definitely the best one. Not only does it improve performance, but it's also going to reduce battery drain. Now let's go to the home page of settings. We're going to slide down until we see battery. And then from here, you see the low power mode. So if you have an iPhone, which has a high refresh rate display, you may not want to use this feature, but what it, uh, what it will do is it will limit the refresh rate to 60 hertz, which again, if you don't have the Pro Series 13 newer, you won't notice. Uh, it's also going to reduce the processor speed. It's going to you know, do some other stuff as well. This is definitely useful if you just want a one toggle quick fix, right? Uh, so if you just tap on continue, it will do a bunch of stuff to help with the background, uh, the battery drain. On top of this, we can head over to privacy and security, and you want to find where it says location services. So what's happening is a bunch of applications may be using your location, even if you're not, you know, in the app, right? So for example, uh, let's take a look at this, maps. So maps, okay, while using the app, that makes sense. When you're using the maps app, you want the maps to know where you are. But other apps like, let's say, Facebook, do you want Facebook to know your location 24 seven? So just check the permission here. If it says all of the time, just think, does that app need your location access all of the time? In some cases it may, but for the most part it won't, okay? Banking apps will sometimes ask for location while using the app all the time. Do you really need that on? For most people, the answer is no. If you do have a genuine reason, which is causing issues when you turn off location services, then you definitely just want to keep that on. But again, for the most part, either set it to while using the app or 
never, and that will definitely help out with the battery drain. On top of this, we have tracking here. So my Apple ID does not meet the minimum age requirements, which is weird because I'm over 18, but you should be able to access this area here. If you have allow apps to uh, allow you know, tracking, what that will do is it will allow apps to track you throughout multiple websites, okay? So for example, if you have Facebook allowing you to track through other apps, you open up a game, for example, Facebook can track you. Well, I'm not even joking, they can track you. Uh, if you go to websites, Facebook can track you. So it's kind of scary that, but uh, you can turn it off. Just turn off this toggle here. Uh, no application can force you to have app tracking. If they do, they violate the App Store guidelines. So you don't need to worry about that one uh, at all. On top of this, we can take a look into local network access. So I have nothing here. You may have some stuff in here, uh, which allows the application to connect to Bluetooth and stuff like that. If you're in a situation where the app doesn't need to connect to Bluetooth devices, doesn't need to connect to Wi-Fi devices, you may want to turn off the toggle here to turn off access there as well. You may also want to take a look at Bluetooth. For me, I use Bluetooth all the time. I want to keep it on. But for you, if you're not using Bluetooth, you're wasting battery, okay? Just turn it off and that will definitely help when it comes to the battery life department. Uh, but again, if you do use Bluetooth, you definitely do not want to interfere with that one. You can also turn on dark mode. So slide down from the top right. Uh, if that doesn't work, slide up from the bottom. Okay, slide up from the bottom. Long press on this little brightness toggle. And then you have where it says dark mode. So when you turn on dark mode, you see this area here, which is black. When you have an OLED iPhone, when it's black, it means the pixels are, uh, pixels are off. So what that means in English is parts of the display are turned off when you use dark mode. And if parts of the display are turned off, that means less power is required to run the iPhone. Therefore, you're going to get way better battery life. So those are all the tips and tricks you can do to help with the battery life in iOS 16. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.